Good morning, everybody. And this is your DAX setups for today. So we had buyers come in yesterday and after hours, we've got uh, sellers trying to take control. We are fairly close to uh, the structure. So I quite honestly, uh, sorry, it's gonna extend this zone because we're gonna find a lot of structure in this zone. So first area is 19.050 and then 18880 area is where you're looking for opportunities to buy into this. Obviously that retest this big um, cup and handle that formed. So um, that makes the most logical sense. We did have a bit of a, a pin bar here in the middle of nowhere yesterday. And uh, at the moment it's not in play. We'd obviously need to break above the high of it. And I'm just gonna put the high in as a level because you'll probably find that's going to be a level on the lower time frames anyway. So that will be a good learning opportunity for us. So channel at the moment forming on the three hour in amongst moving averages, which indicates we're going into range, big down, big up, big down at the moment. But we are very short of support. And we have a gap lower down. We've got two gaps lower down actually. We've got one from last week and one from the week before. So at the moment, if we look at the three hour oscillators, we group to the downside, uh, could be a double bottom forming, but obviously we need to wait for this next three hour bar to see what happens. And then we need to break the structure to the upside before we start looking at that. So for now we are in a bearish channel. So if we draw that bearish channel in, there it's a bit of a messy channel but we do have one two three four five touches so that is confirmed for me as a channel and uh, if you look at the first three hours of this morning we are moving down so yesterday we did indicate that the better option was short while we were doing the videos there was nothing and then we came back with this messy pin bar here off 19262 um, very messy I say messy because you can see not really a pin bar more of a range bar and then we had a um, piercing sort of a piercing bar so that was a piercing pattern very messy but nevertheless it did come down problem is it just turned very short of support so 1906 is what we're aiming for and it just stopped just below it Anyway, um, for me, this is messy from yesterday, so I'd be a little bit cautious. You could see a short opportunity of 19.150, but this is your first area of support at 19.060, so that's only 10 points, um, which means uh, 80, 85 pips or 85 points that you're basically going to have as a, a profit target if you're lucky versus a probably 80 point risk anyway so i'm not too keen on that it's uh, not something i would want to be chasing so my preferred trade at the moment is going to be to wait for a break to the upside so i'm going to put this level in i'm looking for a break of 19200 and a retest of that, that should break this uh, channel. It should also sort of set up a, um, a double bottom of sorts. And then the next break I'll be looking for is 19,260. So that's kind of my view this morning. It's uh, really sit back and wait. I'm not too keen on chasing these shorts. Um, the possibility of being ambushed is just too great. But nevertheless, the, the shorts are there on offer. If we do break below 19.060, come back and test it, then you do have 19.880 area as your final target. But what I mean by ambush is the gap is something that a lot of people are aiming for. So you're really going to see a lot of people are holding shorts at the moment. So they've seen what's happening day before yesterday and they jumped in short and they're still holding short. They're sitting in profit, which they're quite happy about. 
and they'll be moving stops down or they'll be adding to their position size. So as this grows, as your short book grows, all the people that are holding short grows, all it takes is one or two big institutions to say, right, now's the time to, to trigger a move to the upside. And then they start scaling in long um, and start buying. Those with lots of money are capable of moving the market fairly rapidly. And uh, all they have to do is move it a couple of pips to start triggering stop losses, which is going to accelerate the move to the upside. So that's kind of what I see happening. I don't think the institutions are holding short at the moment. I think this is all retail trading that is holding short. So the retailers, retail traders will be aiming for the gap. Your institutions know that. And uh, they're just going to wait until all the weak hands are in. And then they're going to hammer this to the opposite direction. So be very careful. Uh, at the moment, the setup is short, granted. But your higher time frame is definitely far from short. It's more of a pullback onto structure waiting for a move higher up. And that's what I would prefer to be trading today. Okay. So anyway, I'm rather waiting lower down to, for price action to see if we can pick up a long rather than trying to second guess it short. Hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.